Hey everyone, my name is John Capobianco and today we're going to build a secure communication channel between a client and an agent, an AI agent using Google A to A, which is in front of a LangGraph agent, which connects to MCP tools. Now we're going to use OpenZD. Now it's a clever name, but it's a powerful open source zero trust networking platform. Now why do we need this? Well, I think in the world of agents, right, there's going to be zero trust, right? And traditional networks often expose services directly, creating attack services. With zero trust, these services become dark, invisible, and inaccessible by default. And access is explicitly granted and authorized to identities over secure encrypted connections. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up this agent service in OpenZD and adjust your A to A adapter and the A to A client to critically demonstrate the completely unreachable without a ZD overlay, an overlay on top of the internet, which is perfect for these agents that are going to sit on top of the internet. We're going to then securely connect using the Python ZD SDK. So first we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a ZD controller. Right? This is a software-defined networking uh, apparatus with a controller, a brain that manages identities and services and policies, and an edge router, which is the data highway, the secure mechanism to forward traffic based on the controller's rules. This creates that private secure networking overlay. All right, I'll show some images in a bit. There's a few things we have to do here. We have to right, create that digital passport and enroll a one-time token through an agent enrollment mechanism. And that this JSON file is mapped to the controller providing the access levels. Um, the service is a name. It's not an IP, which is pretty neat. Using ZD, it's a name. And we have attributes, and we're going to host this just locally for now. And now with zero trust, it's really neat. There's dial policies and bind policies, hosting permissions, right? Allowing identities with a public role, like this agent, to provide or host a service. And we decorate these services. And then a dial policy, which is the connection permission, again, which could be public in this case. So um, is there anything else I need to do here? Yeah, I'm going to show you some things, but let me quickly call up an image that's going to help put this together. So if I look up the oh, Python OpenZD, sorry, the OpenZD Python SDK. And let me share the screen. They have this awesome pasta, the ZD, Zero Trust, and this awesome um, readme file. Now, the image is not, okay, hang on. The image I want is in right here. Okay, so let's take a look at this image. Right, so we have our host, and our host server is the agent in the cloud, the A to A agent, all right? And we want our devices, our A to A clients, to connect with zero trust, right? The local network, the internet, the local network, all of it is encapsulated inside of the zero trust tunnel. So let's go ahead and bring some of this up. Okay, if there's nothing up in Docker. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I have three different terminals open here, and um, let me just show you how to do this in case you're interested. All right, let me clear these. <clears throat> so for the first thing, I had to build that controller. And I'm gonna use Py, or, uh, Docker to run the controller. And you can see the controllers come up. In the next window, I'm gonna bring up the edge router, okay? And now we have edge router up and we have our two containers up. Uh, finally, I'm going to add a network in the back end. And now I'm going to connect to the controller so we can run some commands later on. Um, 
Whoops, hang on. Yeah, I have to get into the container and then run ZD login. And I'm going to be logged in to the container. Okay, so now I need to bring up my agent stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring up my container. And you're going to see the A to A. We're going to watch the A to A here. Now, this A to A main has been rewritten with um, ZD. So this is using uh, the ZD as a server. All right, and it's been bound to the client. So now that everything, okay, I got it working. This is really cool. And how I know it's working, I can toggle the VPN or my tunnel. Let's not call it a VPN, a tunnel. I tunnel to the edge router, okay? And when that tunnels up, I can then talk to the agent and run a command and chat with the agent. When the tunnel's not up, it's zero trust. Nothing happens. I can't even connect to it. I can't see it. It's ephemeral. Now this is all private on my network, but what I would do is put the router on the internet and let clients connect to that router, which then connects to the back end through the, through the controller, which then connects to the container. So I'm gonna show you this. So it's down. I have no tunnel up and I'm gonna run the ZD edge tunnel with an identity in the form of my JSON. All right, and my JSON has some keys and some cert information that I generated from the controller. So it's truly zero trust. Who can connect, what clients are allowed, and they have to fingerprint. All right, so let's try to run the client and I'll show you what happens here. Nothing happens. Can you please use PyTS to help me understand device R1 routing table? Right now it just sits here. It just sits here. And in the agent, uh, there's nothing happening here. Yeah, these are old answers. Sorry, I thought I cleared my terminal. I don't know why that came back. Let me clear these. So nothing is happening, as you can see, right? Um, now, so I'm going to cancel this. Right, and as you can see in my controllers, I have this edge router and the ZD controller, Zero Trust ZD controller. So now I'm going to bring up the edge tunnel. And we can see that it's registered this agent, this service. So the controller advertises this through the edge router so that now when I run the client, I can say the same question. And now we can see things happening, okay? And in the PyTS, we can see it running the show IP route command on device R1, right? And it's gonna return the answer back through the agent, right? With these overlays to the controller and the router. So it's completely fingerprint free. It's an ephemeral tunnel. There is our routing table answer. All right. Now, don't worry about this. Um, I, I've hit a bit of a snag. Don't worry. I'll talk about that in a minute. But there's the routing table. So this is truly a zero trust agent behind an edge router and a controller. All right. Now, that might excite all you security folks and you zero trust folks. I am very excited about this. This is really cool. Now, I can incorporate the OAuth stuff. So when I run the agent, yes, I've got a fingerprint, but I don't need to do that anymore. It's zero trust. The agent's been registered with the client, right? The server aspect, quite astounding, quite astounding. An overlay over the internet for agents to talk to each other and then tear down those overlays. So this was fun. This was fun getting a controller up, getting an edge router up, getting a network between them creating the services and the bindings uh, and the host file and then getting my client adjusted. Really neat, but we have a zero trust uh, agent system. All right, very cool. We'll see you soon. And thank you so much to Michael who reached out at ONUG. We sat together and had quite serious conversations about this. And right away, as soon as he mentioned, you know, got into it, 
This is what clicked. I could apply what he's talking about, the zero trust, to A to A, to agents, and address some of these security concerns. The thank you, Michael.